It was the last Mako trip of our season. Yep. So we had uh, everything on the boat. We had tuna gear and Mako gear. Yep. And we were headed out to out to the Continental Shelf. Yep. Um, we, we launched at the boat ramp in St. Helens St. itself. Yep. And decent sized boat. We're in a 28 uh, footer yep. Bertram. And uh, we left from St. Helens uh, down to the barway and we got three quarters of the way across the barway. Yep. Almost through. And then Green Wave stood up came through, punched our windscreen out, and well, that was it. Yeah. Uh, up, to, up to our knees in water. Yep. And the next wave came on top, and, and that was it, we were all out. Um, didn't have our jackets inflated as the boat went over. Yep. But as soon as people popped up out of it, pulled them. Inflated. Had, yep, yep. there's four of us on board. Myself, uh, another fellow who had never been to sea before, a green fellow, yep. a 70 year old, and a fellow who needs assistance to walk, yeah, basically yeah. crippled. Um, three of the four of us had stormy seas on. Yeah. The other young fellow didn't have one. He had a, another brand, an inflatable, but yet another brand. Um, we've all came up, yeah. inflated, um, managed to hold on to a bit of flotsam, yeah. which was, I think, a sponge cushion off a <laughs> off the back deck somewhere. Lucky. Yeah. And, yeah and basically all that did was held us all together. Yeah. So we all rafted up yep. and got pushed all the way back through the barway. Yep. Wow. So yeah, yeah it's it, was a, it was a slight outgoing tide. Yep. It was just starting to run out as the boat, as we sunk the boat. So yeah. they were standing up a fair bit. Yeah. And, yep, and oh, we copped the pounding all the way through. Yeah. But um, no, stormies, no problems, first pull, you know, yeah. well, that's it. We're all out. How long are you out there for? Uh, through the barway would have taken us from when the boat sunk to yeah. when we got back to uh, Remote Danger Boy yeah. was probably 45 minutes. Wow. Maybe yeah. maybe an hour. It's starting to feel the cold. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we had put a mayday call out, yeah. managed to get one out. But we've later found out that that was um, received or it was received and treated as a hoax. Wow. So no one was actually coming at that stage. Yeah. Not that we knew. We didn't manage to get a flare off. Yeah. Um, anyway, as we've come back through the barway, we've hit the outgoing tide uh, and there was a remote danger boy there. Yeah. So we've all held on to that. I've noticed that land was mm, probably a swimmable distance for me mm. and in my stormy have been able to swim. Yep. Yep. Not a problem. Yep. Yeah. Straight awesome. through. Yep. And then as I got to the rocks, you know, just let it wash me up on and yeah. didn't pop it. Awesome. No dramas with it. Tough as nails. Yeah. yeah. And Excellent. comfortable. Yeah. Like it wasn't a hindrance yep. to me. Like I knew it was it was it was something that I was really happy to have on. And you kept that body temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Like I wasn't in danger. Yeah. Uh, the other fellows who were out there, one started to get very cold. Yeah. Um, he was the fellow who who's crippled doesn't yeah. have circulation in his legs, it's very good. Yeah. Um, and the other fellow who was wearing the other PFD, it had inflated up around his neck. Yep. And he was having a bit of a drama of a time. Yeah. Not being a sea person. A bit overwhelmed. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he was very, very happy, as were all three of them, to see yeah. the, the marine rescue finally come. I reckon. Because as I said, I got back to land, ran to the nearest campsite, yep. and rang the marine rescue or the local police. Yeah. So, we all had our stormies donned uh, as we went through the barway, yeah. Because that's, well, I don't know. They're comfortable. Yeah. They're, to they're be your friends. Designed to be worn. Yeah. yeah. And like I'm normally a tinny fisherman. Yeah. And so I do a lot of cray fishing and even fishing for um, tuna in my tinny. Yeah. You know, down south at the Hippolytes, out the continental shelf of St Helens. Mm. Not without it. No way. Yep. <laughs> yep. Excellent. So I don't know what else I can tell you. If there's anything else you'd like to know. No, that sounds like a good story. Yep. I'm glad you're here. Yep. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you.